Hey guys, welcome back to my soulful channel. Um, I'm about to react to and review the new BET series, American Soul. They have two episodes. The first episode is Man is First Destiny, and then the second one is Continuous Revolution in Progress. So yeah, it's a new series. Um, you know, I tried to dress for the occasion. I had a dashiki, like one of those cheap fake dashikis that I got from a festival, but it fit kind of weird. Maybe I'll wear it next time. Um, you know, I didn't want to get too costumey, but this is, I mean, these are my actual clothes. I mean, I haven't worn these glasses ever, but you know, this is me. I didn't want to like sport an afro and do all that extra stuff. I mean, I have natural hair, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm excited for this. Um, I'm a big fan of Soul Train. I love watching Soul Train. I love watching the 70s Soul Train and then the 90s Soul Train as well. Um, I didn't exactly grow up on it. I know it went on till, honestly, till like 2005 or 2006 because I know Pretty Ricky performed on there. I don't listen to like a lot of 70s music. I feel like I listen to more 70s music music than most people my age but I don't listen to it consistently I listen to a lot of 90s music that's why I listen to like every day but I love I mean honestly I love the fashions every time I look I'm like I would wear I mostly like the men's fashion for some reason I like the tops that they wear the colorful tops um, of course I love the hair it's just uh, it was a great time for black music not necessarily for black people uh, so people get that misconstrued just because the music was happy doesn't mean it was happy times for black people but uh, Soul Train was so influential for music and fashion and and culture and everybody everybody has been on Soul Train so you know I watch the awards every time they come on I, I love it um, so yeah I don't know if this is just about the 70s or if they go through out the different eras I it looked like it was mostly just the 70s or the late 60s it I think it did show Don Cornelius unfortunately with the uh, gun to his head rest in peace to him I don't know how far they're going to go but I can't wait hopefully they get I mean I don't know everything about Soul Train I watched the documentary that came out a little bit ago hopefully they don't try to I mean obviously you can't you can't whitewash Soul Train but like whitewash or polish it up or make it look different than what it was it was black it was black as hell and I want to see that I want to see great dance moves great music I can't wait for the music so and the acting so let's get into it and I'm not wearing these glasses throughout the entire time because I feel like I'm just gonna mess up my vision and there's already a reflection on it so nobody has time for that so yeah let's get right into it so water mukbang I've heard this song before Kelly Rowan. Who is she playing? Gladys Knight? Oh, I think this is what I saw in the um, trailer. This is when he. Oh, no, no, no. Gosh. Starting with the drama. Oh, he was on Survivor's Remorse. He played a priest, a homophobic priest. Train, welcome to one of my favorite groups, Chicago's very own. Oh yeah, I thought it was the Shy Lights. I don't know all the artists from back then, but I know some. My mom would know more about uh, these artists than I would. She knows a lot about 70s artists and the 80s artists. That's his child? Is he in the military? He's going off to Vietnam? Who do you have that child by? Who is this from Greece? I don't remember his name, but I remember him from Vine. He was big on Vine. I think it was like Chris something. See, I wanted some hoop earrings. I had some these, but they're so thin. And my other ones uh, broke. Who's this? I know his brother is the, he was in uh, the new edition story. He was the young Ralph. I don't know their names. I think his name is Jelani, the older brother. Is this an early wife? Because I know, wasn't he with a white woman? Because his kids look pretty light. Kendall, you have a son. If you 
if you and Victoria were married, all this goes away. Really? Was that real? If you were married, you you couldn't get drafted into the war? Or no? Oh, no. Can't be doing all that. Should have never went in there. But my, um, my uncle went to Vietnam. So back in the day, rest in peace. He didn't pass. He didn't die in the war. He, he died around 2009. So I actually think my last supervisor went to Vietnam as well. Oh, here we go. Only been here a few hours. Hands on the wheel. Wow. Tails, you sing for me. Uh, excuse you. I'm not gonna ask you again, Donna. Were you gonna shoot him for not singing? Out of here. Ugh! I love how they always make it like there's the bad cop and the good cop. Over it. They're both bad. Yeah, it's crazy so far. So I guess the main characters, the girls with the guy from Vine. <laughs> I need to get his name. And then the other guy is her brother. He has a little Latino little boy that looks nothing like him. And um, he's getting drafted into the military to fight in Vietnam. And Don, I guess he, or he's in LA right now. Cause Soul Train started in Chicago, I think. So I don't know if they put a little you know, location in the beginning, but now he's in LA and of course he got stopped by the cops and they were already, he had only been in LA for a couple hours. So that's crazy what black men and women had to go through, what they're still going through in this country. So we'll get into the, and also, you know, it started off with his unfortunate suicide, which is what kind of threw me off in the trailer. I, I wasn't sure if they were going to lead up, you know, go from the 70s, 80s, 90s, all the way up to his death, but I, I feel like they aren't. I feel like they're going to stay in the 70s. And also, it looks like he did have a black wife or a black girlfriend in the beginning, because I think he ended up, I don't know if he married a white woman or a non-black woman, but I think he has kids by some non-black women, so. And it also seemed like uh, the guy and the girl in the beginning are trying to hide their relationship from her father. That's and I appreciate your time, but that'll be all for today. Thank you. He's not in a good mood because of the police. He didn't even see them. He watched them for like two seconds. I love that top. I need that top in my life. Oh, that's right. Someone said that this uh, group was based off of Shalimar too. I don't know if there were siblings in that group though. kind of like backstabbers by the OJs. It's funny because it, it, it has like a modern sound to it. Like it sounds like 70s, but it still sounds like the song from today. Come through locals. Why do I feel like they're just gonna like her? And then face my home. I can dig it. House band, how old are you? 18. I'll be 17 in a few months. You fly, but you ain't work my liquor license. <laughs> Get rid of them. They can't oh, perform? And I just fired. But did they pay? No. So. Chicken box. They're chasing dreams of stuff. No, because he better come to practice now. Ain't no in between. Who tied and made you very good? Your junkie ass mama, bitch. Oh! Because he caught losses. Are he and I would attempt to make it anyway. Just shut up. Together. That's not really funny. Good. Why am I laughing? <laughs> it looks right. like kill. We don't talk about nobody's mama. Faces, smiling faces. Yeah, you know, they're just going through the motions on whether or not they should uh, risk it with this show or, you know, I guess hit up another club, some other gig. I don't know, for some reason this just reminded me of that scene or a couple of scenes in the American Dream show or TV movie about the Jacksons where they, they had performed at some clubs. I mean, it doesn't make it right. Those were like 
why do I feel like one was a strip club and in like a bar so it made me think about the fact that you did have underage groups and acts perform at uh, bars and clubs but yeah now that I think about it I don't think that's the best place for her and the other guys to be so uh, yeah I think they're definitely gonna do their thing on Soul Train um but yeah I don't know a lot about Shalimar my mom really likes that group but I think someone said that maybe this group Encore is based off of that group so I didn't know it's a Jody Watley <laughs> I don't know their names yeah and I don't know about him talking about uh, his sister's boyfriend's mother like that is she on drugs if she is if she's not he shouldn't be talking about her like that like I'm trying to think yeah Kelly Rowland looks like Gladys Knight when she was young Young, gifted, and black. Wow, did this really happen? Oh, 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 there's his wife. That's right. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I forgot she was there. Dude, nothing good was gonna come out of that. You still kissed her. Raggedy. It's crazy when, when you think about like these businesses and movies and shows. It takes a lot of, you are a salesman, a saleswoman. Like you really have to sell your ideal. It's not always going to be, you know, easy. People aren't going to always come to you. Um, they're not always going to believe in your vision, especially back then where there weren't any like black owned TV uh, shows or networks or anything of the sort so that was like a really big ideal back then and it was a lot for the artists to um, collaborate with with Don Cornelius and the Soul Train show so I mean it takes a lot you know when I think about that and starting my own business whether it be clothes or even being a director or a writer it's like you really have to be able to articulate your ideals and really sell it and, and deal with the yeses and the nos because probably I mean they've sh they showed um obviously he didn't get to meet with James Brown they haven't showed probably all the rejections that he had uh experienced trying to get the show up and off its feet so this is a good look into that and I mean obviously we didn't see too much we just saw like I said the James Brown situation but people need to know when they're trying to create different uh, organizations and shows and movies you it takes a lot to create these these businesses and, and following through with them so just know that but don't let it don't let it like bring you down like keep following your dreams it's something I want to do as well but keep pushing through you know all the no's and all the rejections Again, this is a really nice song, but this is too modern. This does not sound like the 70s. You cannot listen. Like, this does not sound like the 70s. What is this? It's really nice, though. This sounds like a 90s song. That's so sad. I wasn't sure if that was Kelly Price or not. This is supposed to be her husband? First I was like, maybe that's the husband. Then I'm like, he looks really young. He looks too young. What are they talking about? Slap him. Slap him! If you move to Los Angeles, maybe we won't make it. Don't worry about me with other women, but don't because I'm not gonna cheat on you. Yeah, but it ain't never stopped you before. Well, there you go. That was a long time ago. Either you forgive me or you don't. Okay, baby. <laughs> 
Mm. That was sad. So we're about to go into the second episode. Yeah, I think the the wife knew that their relationship probably wouldn't have lasted if he moved to LA. I'm still confused. I don't care. Are they like in another part of like is he in Chicago right now? He's going back and forth. Are they just in another part of LA. But um yeah, she probably knew it wasn't going to last. He probably didn't even think that the show was going to be as big as it would uh, be. So, I mean, she saw him kiss another woman, so but at the same time, you know, I don't think he should have course into his his dream I think he should have of course still uh, pursued his dream and stayed faithful to his wife but that wouldn't have happened which I think is just BS that these men can't be faithful while I and I get it that you know of course with him creating the show and becoming famous and making money and being around celebrities that there's so there's so much temptation around him but those are the type of things uh you have to risk when you get married but he was never probably going to be faithful anyway but it is crazy that I think compared to women that men obviously just can't like just can't compared to women just can't be faithful in these type of situations but I feel like women could be more faithful but then some people say women cheat more than men they just get away with it but I, I don't believe that I think that women are pressured to stay faithful stay loyal um, more than men um, have to and I think it's unfortunate that you know, I don't know if they, they break up or anything like that, but it's unfortunate that he can't balance his career and his family and provide with for his family without being um, unfaithful. So now we're about to get into the next episode.